Hi there. Here we are, Math 116. And this is section 0 0.5. And we're looking at algebraic expressions. So this section is very mathy. And by that, I mean it's just a lot of playing with numbers. And I do think of them as playing. So here's question number 25 from your homework. We have 39 r cubed times s squared, that whole thing, divided by, wait for it, 13 r squared times s. So the easiest way to do this problem is to write it out in this form. 39 r cubed times s squared divided by 13 r squared times s. So I'm going to switch colors here. And when you have these top and bottom, you, know, you can cancel. So you say this r squared. There's two down there and one up there. So that leaves an r. And what you're basically saying is you have r cubed on top and r squared on the bottom. And they cancel like that, leaving you with one r on top. So there's an r on top. Same thing here. You have two s's and one s. So these guys cancel. And I'm saying cancel, but what I really mean is you could factor it out and say s divided by s. That's 1. That's the full mathy way to do it. But we're just going to say that that leaves an s there. And oh, good news, 39 and 13. Well, 39 is 13 times 3. I always like it. That's very satisfying, isn't it? So the 13's cancel, leaving you with a 3. So your answer for this problem is 3 r S. Really slick. That's that problem. Okay, I'm going to do another problem. And here is another one. Question number 33. This is a FOIL method problem. So we have 4x plus 3, and we want this whole thing squared. So what they're saying here, well, that's 4x plus 3 times 4x plus 3 like that. Now we're going to use the FOIL method. First, outer, inner, last. So first, outer, inner, last. And that's the order that most people do these, um, you know, multiply them out. So first, you take the two first products. So that's 4x, ah, 4, ha ha ha, look at me. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 x squared, so plus, so that was first. Now we do outer. So these guys, that's outer. 12x plus, so we did that one, that one. Now we're on inner, so the two inner ones, 12x. So that's 4 times 3 times 4x plus last, 9, 3 times 3. So this reduces, that's 16x squared plus 24x plus 9. And that is the answer. OK, the next one is much more um, <laughs> playful. Is it challenging? Is it playful? What is it? You'll find out. Question number 57. So the problem looks like this. You have x cubed plus x minus 1 divided by x plus 2. Excuse me, x, yeah, x plus 2. So my first thought when I looked at this is I thought, well, how can I, like, I wanted to factor this. I thought, well, if I could factor this, and maybe there's an x plus 2 in there, but I didn't see it. So here's the other way to do it. This is the book's long way, and this is following their example on page 33. This is the long division problem for algebraic expressions. So you take this x squared or x cubed plus x minus 1, and we're dividing it. Remember this way to divide like this with this long sort of, it's not a square root, it's a long division thing. So the first thing you do is you think, well, I have this x cubed here. I want to get rid of that, and I have an x over here. So what do I put here so that x times something is x cubed? Well, the answer is x squared, because now x times x squared is x cubed, OK? So we take x squared, and we multiply it by these guys. So that gives us x cubed, right? x squared times x plus 2 times x squared. And then we subtract it. This is similar to doing long division by hand, which I'm sure you do every morning for practice. So this is x cubed minus x cubed, that's 0. 
and then there's minus 2x cubed. You notice there's no x cubed or x squared um, 1 here. So we just have to say minus 2x squared because there was no x squared. That's an x. Then you say plus x minus 1. You bring that down. Okay, we continue. Okay, next one. We've got a minus 2x squared and an x. So in order to get that, we take a minus 2x. So now you can see this minus 2x times x makes minus 2x squared. So I'll do this one in yellow. So we have minus 2x times x there, minus 2x squared. And then we have minus 2x times plus 2, so that's minus 4x. These, man, the signs, you got to be tricky. Got to make sure you're doing it right. So we're subtracting that, subtract. That's like, that becomes adding positive positive, those become zero, and that is now 5x minus 1. We have to do it one more time, so I'm going to kind of continue it over here. We have 5x minus 1. So we have 5x minus 1 and an x, so we add 5. Why did I add 5? Because I'm thinking, what do I have to multiply this first number by to get this first number, a 5? So 5x. So when I multiply that, I'll do this one in orange. So 5 times 5x is 5x because I set it up that way. And then 5 times 2 is plus 10, right? Plus 5 plus 2. And now we subtract. We're always subtracting these. And that gives us 0. And then that's minus, minus 11. So the answer, now we're stuck because minus 11 and x plus 2, there's nothing you can multiply. So we're done. So once you get this constant, you're done. Yay. So this is what we call the remainder. Remember this? It's really similar to just dividing longhand. So our answer, here's our remainder of 11. Negative 11. The way you write this whole answer is you take this piece here. I'm going to write it in, I'm trying to find a color, uh, blue, I guess. x squared, here's your answer, minus 2x plus 5 minus, or you could say plus, I said minus because this remainder is negative, you do the remainder like this, 11 over this piece that you're dividing by, x plus 2. So there's, this class is not going to do many of these problems, so just do a few. Use the same part of your brain that you would use for Sudoku or Scrabble, or just say, I'm just playing with numbers today, I'm just going to kind of make it work. So don't, you know, really get too stressed about it. It's just playing. It's just playing with math. Okay, I'm going to do a few more problems on another video.